All right, so onto this uh, frozen and uh, frozen landscape here with Lord Java Java being completely frozen over. Good job, Link. I'm proud of you. I'm glad you you put the extra effort into that jump. Can I not climb up this? That's a shame. Yeah, thankfully, despite the fact that we're dealing with cold temperatures here, uh, you don't freeze over when you walk into the water or just go for a swim, so that's good. But yeah, basically here, though, we've got a little bit of a platforming section that you can very easily mess up. I almost just did it right there again. Thankfully, I didn't. But if you come on out to here, we got another heart piece. And just like that, another heart container was formed. So, hell to the yeah for that. Our health bar is looking quite large, if I do say so myself. Can't really complain too much. Let's go ahead here, do some basic platforming across these uh, ice platforms and having the Hyrule Field themed danger music playing. And... Welcome to sort of a mini dungeon of sorts. This is the Ice Cavern. Yeah, we got two we got two old dungeons in one recording session, baby. Let's go ahead here and kind of navigate our way around here. Cause maybe we might find something in here that can help out Zora's domain with its uh little bit of a frozen issue. Come here you. Got these ice boys here that we need to absolutely Hey! Hey! Don't do that. Don't you do that. And there we go. That clears up the room here. Now, I will say, out of a lot of areas in Ocarina of Time that you travel through, there is just something very pleasing to the eyes for me when it comes to uh, the ice cavern. I don't know why. If, I don't know if it's the music, if it's the visuals. It's just super relaxing to me. And I, I really couldn't put my finger on it. I just like this place a lot, man. But yeah, that's another Golden Skull Tula right there that we absolutely demolished. So we're doing pretty good in that department. Let's go ahead and climb up here. All right, let's go for a jump. Hopefully not getting hit by that uh, spinning ice blade of sorts. If you crouch underneath the uh, ice blades by pulling out your shield, you won't take damage, thankfully. So if it's just about to hit you, just do that, and then you'll be pretty much fine. So let's check out this room here. We got some enemies on this by the sounds of it, and we got these stupid freaking spikes. You can get out of here, because I'm not dealing with you. I don't know, this is a very mystical place, though, and we have what's quite possibly one of the more annoying rooms, uh, in my opinion, just to navigate around. You have these keys that are... Looking like they got some blue flames going on. If they make contact with you, hey. You better stop right there, bud. But anyways, yeah, we got these keys here with blue flames. If they make contact with you, you basically get frozen over. If I could actually land a bow shot, that'd be pretty good. Alright. I'm for you, bud. Oh, you dropped arrows. Hold the phone here. But yeah, we got some blue fire just kind of chilling here. So let me go ahead. And I'm actually going to empty one of my bottles. I'm not going to empty the bugs bottle just because, again... Oh, come on. This blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something? I suppose so, but... Considering how many hearts we have, we really don't need this fairy. At least I don't think we do. But you can actually scoop this into your bottle. And you want to carry a nice supply of these. Just going to... Give you the warning now, you're going to be using blue fire quite a bit with regards to this mini dungeon. So just be uh, just be ready for that. Be ready for that happy-go-lucky fun time. Got a pot there that I'm not going to waste the blue fire on. Even if it is right next to us that we can obtain. I just don't think it's worth it, man. Okay, and by melting the red ice here, got a nice chest. What do we got inside? We've got the dungeon map. We do love to see it. Now, let's just be careful walking around. We don't want to fall and get hit by the spikes down below. Scoop up another bit of blue fire and let's make our way out of here. Because we're essentially all done with this room. Making our way uptown, walking fast. No. No. 
Come on. Now, I just want to hit the ice boy. Thank you. Okay. Moving back into pretty much like the main room area. But we want to melt this red ice here. Which will give us access to another part of the dungeon. Very nice. So what do we got over here? Oh boy, we got a room alright. Oh yeah, we got a room alright. Hang on here. Let's whip out the good old uh, hook shot. Hey, Geese, how's it going, bud? It's a good thing that your peripheral vision is kind of balls. To hear a Golden Skull Tula token. But we'll get to that in a moment, because we actually have a chest that we can melt here. So let's see what uh, content it holds from us. Because I want that good stuff. Probably the compass, right? That's how this always works. Most of the time. Yep, that's the compass. Okay. So, let's see here. We've got this golden skull tula that's going to drive me nuts. And there we go. That adds another one to the tally. And we want to get both of our bottles back out. Scoop up some more blue fire. Very nice. Get some more. And over here we have a, just a nice piece of heart just chilling out right here. This is kind of insane, if I'll be honest with you. Just the fact that this is just kind of hanging out here is uh, pretty crazy. But yep, another piece of heart to add. Not too bad. Go ahead and grab more blue fire for the trip. And let's start exploring more. Yeah, I'm, uh, you like how we're getting absolutely pelted by uh, all the damn icicles that are hanging above us? Me too. Okay, so let's just be careful walking through here. Uh, this doesn't appear to... Oh, wait, this does open up a pathway. For some reason, just from my perspective, it didn't look like it did, but... I should... I shouldn't be thinking that. Okay. Just gotta be careful here. And, as you see, we've got a little bit of a block-pushing puzzle. Oh, joy. And it's uh, on top of that we're dealing with ice physics, because fun. Oh no, that's that's not good. Well, it's a good thing I sniped them before they were able to get the, the hit on me there. Alright, so this uh, Skulltula is kind of far away, but you can easily reach it with your good old hookshot. So do that, and that's another Golden Skulltula token nod. Alright, so I forget literally what I want to do with regards to this room in terms of pushing this block around. If you push it into these bottomless pits, it will respawn, so don't worry too much about that. Just worry about trying to get the block to get to these uh, silver rupees in question, because you bet that they're important to open door. I mean, if there's anything, at least you're making bank from this, but I'd wager that most of you probably already have a nice chunk of change by this point in time. So nothing too much to worry about. At least that's how I would look at it. Alright, so we got you. And I want to definitely grab some more blue fire. Go ahead and scoop more up. Very nice. Okay, so that rupee in question. I think I want to push you this way. I think we could actually just jump to it, to be honest. Right? Looks like we could. Right. Oh my god, Link, you're a god. Alright, now for you. Hmm. How am I going to deal with that? Well, I already messed up, so... I guess you're going right into the pit, ice block. Sorry, brother. Okay, so let's just push it like this, then give it a little push like this, 
And then we should be pretty much all good. And I apologize again if you're if you guys are pick up on any background noise. I'm gonna try my best to kind of suppress some of it in editing, but if you hear it again, I <laughs> I apologize. Just got some stuff going on in my house right now. But I wanted to record, damn it. So I don't really get too many opportunities to record. At least not the not anymore, anyways, I should stress. So that's why I try to do a lot of uh Essentially, bulk recording. Just get as much as I can uh, done. Okay, I think I'm gonna mess this up, but maybe we can make it work. B word being maybe. No, I think we can actually make this work. Hold on. I don't think it's all doom and gloom yet. All right, Link, you're you're, you're killing me here. You want to jump up and go and be a superstar, but this ain't it, Chief. Okay, so we did line this up pretty much perfectly, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and whip out our other blue fire, because we are going to need this. Just giving you a heads up now. Let's climb up here. Hey. What's up, my guy? Are you ready to get hit by a sword? I was going to say fly, but that wasn't going to make sense. Tried making it work, folks. It just didn't work out in the end. All right, so dropping that blue flame. We got a we got a three in one there. That's pretty good. Go through this door, and it is locked. Oh, would you look who it is? It's a it's a white wolf, and it's dead. Yep, what a boss fight. If I have ever seen one. Very nice. Let's see what we've got in this chest. Hello? Is there anything in here? Ah, the iron boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. Nice. I don't know how we're storing them in our backpack, but it's Sheik. How is it going, Sheik? We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora Princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the Water Temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the Water Temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads you to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn into a noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. Damn, man. You're spitting something, and I'm just not sure if my brain can even comprehend right now. But I do dig it, though. So yeah, this is a pretty small-looking song here in terms of the notes you play, but it is an important one. And here we are. Get some nice shots here. These are some nice camera angles and some nice lighting effects. Which looks really nice. Looks very good. You have learned the Serenade of Water. Link, I'll see you again. And man, why you gotta why you gotta keep dipping? Why you gotta do this to me every time? Is there like a is there like a thing in your contract that says just don't help the boy out? Oh you know what? we're gonna need blue fire, aren't we? Hold the phone. We might want to backtrack. Actually, no, we won't need to backtrack. We can just figure it out later. But yes, in order to equip set iron boots, you have to go into your menu here and move one item screen over and essentially equip them. Here's the thing. You may think, oh, that's not so bad right now, but I can assure you, very much soon, if you can believe it, 
You're going to be rethinking that statement very quickly. Because boy, oh boy. Thankfully, on the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time, they did fix that. And they made the Iron Boots something in which you can just equip onto one of your item slots and just whip out at any one time. But, unfortunately, if you're playing the N64 version, you gotta pause the game every time you want to equip the Iron Boots. Again, it may not sound bad, but you'll see what I mean later on in this playthrough. It can be just a teensy-weensy bit annoying. So back in here, we want to go and pretty much leave this place in all honesty. We have no reason to really linger here. No reason whatsoever. It was nice to see you, White's Cavern. It's a nice return. At least for me, because I love the Ice Cavern. It's, such, it's just so nice. It just makes me feel it. it just makes me feel at ease, you know? Alright, so. Walking right on out of here. The one thing you'll want to do as soon as you walk out, jump right into the water, scroll on over to your equipment, and whip out the good old iron boots. We're going to want to sink to the bottom here. You can't breathe underwater. If you start choking, take off those boots. And we got a minute 52. But as you see there, we've got a heart piece. Now, could you come back here with the appropriate means of staying underwater for an extended period of time? Sure. But uh, I'm impatient, so we just do that. We just do that crap now, you know. But yeah, we uh, now we have to slowly ascend back up. Happy-go-lucky fun times, am I right, fellas? Or am I right? Probably not. Okay. Well, I was on the wrong side of the uh, of Jabu Jabu, so whoopsie daisies to that. Got to swim around here, and there we go. Let's go ahead and waltz our way back on over to Zora's domain. And let's go ahead and unfreeze King Zora, who has just been perpetually stuck there. For God knows how long. Probably seven years would be my guess. Maybe less, who knows. I don't know when Ganondorf decided to be this mean, but... You do what you gotta do. Hey, buddy. So let's walk up onto this pedestal and have a nice chat with him. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. And we got the Zora's tunic. This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it, and you won't drown underwater. Yeah, pretty, pretty important uh, tunic, if I do say so myself. You know, the fact that uh, we're definitely going to be hanging out underwater for a good bit. Definitely helps to have this bad boy. Ooh, that's a fall if I've ever seen one. I didn't roll, so I guess that's a oopsies my bad moment, but I can't imagine it being all that crazy. Let's get out of here. And I, I do want to check out some stuff. Uh, just hanging out in Zora's River, because if you recall back a long, long time ago, it feels like now, uh, we actually planted some magic beans, and I... We like to go check on them and see where potentially the levitating leaf technology takes us, as I will appropriately call it. Seriously though, I don't even know like how that even works. Hyrule's just pretty cool, dude. I'd live here. Even if there's enemies that want to onslaught attack me. And never end with it, damn it. Come on now. Do we need to keep hitting us up? Let's take uh let's take this bad boy and fly on over. Alright, so what I wanna do is make it nighttime. I also wanna change around my inventory here. Oops. There we go. Not too shabby. And as you see, we've got another golden skulltula. For the taking. Hell 
Oh yeah. What's down the hole, brother? Well, there's a chest. And we got some bees nests that I'm just gonna snipe with this. Yeah, I actually get some fat stacks from destroying them. Don't ask why. I guess uh, the bees of Hyrule just seem to be uh, holding out the good stuff, you know? And that's another 20 rupees, so we're we're getting pretty loaded here. The guards to our wallet. We also have this bombable rock here. What do we got going on here? Anything cool? Oh, yeah. Let's grab bombs and then make our way down. Ah, it's a fairy's fountain. I guess we could use a little bit of health. Wouldn't hurt. Not really going to catch any of them because I don't really... Ah, I don't think we'll need to. I think we'll be all right. Is there anything I would like to do right now? That is the question, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we do have the iron boots. There isn't really much to be seen or to be done right now. So, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't really tell you. Part of me wants to say no. There's probably not really much we can do at this current moment in time. To be honest, I don't even know if there really is much we can do. Uh, let's get Epona out. Me and Epona are going to go for a little ride. A ride across Hyrule Field. I mean, we could have... Actually, you know, we could have played the, ser the Serenade of Water, but hey. Hyrule at night is pretty... Relaxing, if I do say so myself. Hiya, Hiya indeed, Link. Hiya. Well, so much for night. Making my way downtown. That's a po. That I can't hit to save my life. Well, so much for that. I have no arrows. You get to live your life today. Those foes are going to be somewhat important later. I don't know if I'm going to do the side quest that's related with them, but... Let's just say there are some foes that are roaming around in good old Hyrule Field when you're an adult. And uh, hopefully you have good aim, because I sure as shit don't. Alright. Down to the, the good old land... ...of good old Lake Hylia. Hmm... Oh, there is something we can do here, so that's pretty good. Hey, brother. Ow. Let's go ahead and take the leaf technology. Uh, we don't have any arrows, so that's no good. Hmm. Well, I think we'll be okay. Maybe not. There's a crow. He's probably going to snipe me right here. Oh, he didn't. What a guy. And we got another heart piece, so that's pretty good. See, I thought I could do something fancy. Sure didn't. But yeah, as you kind of notice here, Lake Hylia be looking kind of dry these days. Uh, it's not really looking too good. But, unfortunately, that's what we're going to call it. Because we, or at the very least me anyways, wants to kind of end things here. So the next time that we come back for Ocarina of Time, we're going to find out what in the world is going on with Lake Hylia. As it is literally just, just no water. Nothing. It's like a little puddle. But yeah. Hope you guys and gals have been enjoying the series. And I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>